now another, what is the relationship between blood clot and an aneurysm? Is there a difference or one starts and then the other one develops? So uh, that's, a, that's a great question. This is something that I, I was actually involved, I was trying to get involved in research early on in, uh, before even my residency as a, so as, a, as a graduate medical student. It's interesting that when a blood vessel dilates, uh, most of the times the body understands that this vessel is bigger than what mm -hmm. it should be. And the, and the flow lumen, you know, the area where the blood actually right. is flowing inside the aneurysm, eventually is built to match the original flow lumen that existed before the aneurysm occurred. The rest of the cavity is filled with what we call laminated thrombus, or a type of hard, kind of like a Play-Doh uh, mm -hmm. consistency, okay. thrombus, that fills the cavity of the aneurysm, reconstructing the original lumen. So the question I asked uh, maybe over 25 years ago was, how come an aneurysm knows what's going on in the distal circulation? How, how does the message, right. how does that happen? And, and what was the answer and to we that? Had, uh, we didn't really find an answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> but but we, you know, we had several theories, such as right. you know, the, the flow pattern gets disturbed, the, you know, the, the usual spiral flow that occurs in blood vessels will get disturbed when the vessel dilates, and, and the body somehow reconstructs that spiral flow pattern. But to make a long story short, and, and uh, you know, I, I know the audience probably is not interested in all this, uh, you know, basic science sort of, you know, details. Right. But the bottom line is that the, the aneurysm usually fills up with clot, so that the actual lumen where the blood is passing, under, mimics, uh, matches the original size of the vessel. And that clot mm -hmm. that is sitting in the periphery, uh, sometimes is, is very firmly attached and stays there for a very long time. In the case of the popliteal aneurysms, just because the knee is so mobile and the shape of that artery changes significantly Constantly all with, the time right, when, as the we movement. move. So you can imagine a, a jet stream uh, sort of being directed in different directions and hitting that, that Play-Doh kind of consistency thrombus on the wall of the aneurysm. Little pieces can break off. And once they start floating, if they occlude a, a distal blood vessel, you have a problem where that clot goes.